Hi vlog. So, do you ever one of those things where you film a five minute vlog and it's super hilarious and really awesome and then you realize you haven't been filming the entire time because you got interrupted filming the vlog originally by your neighbor who locked herself out and you had to do this weird kind of almost breakfast at Tiffany's thing where she was Audrey Hepburn and you were the kind of insensitive racial stereotype? Yeah, me neither. That definitely didn't happen. I'm definitely not doing this all again for like a third freaking time. Okay, so it's not anything today, but it is kind of a lazy vlog because I'm not going to edit this because I've been on set all friggin' ever, forever, and I have no time and less brain power, and I'm wet, and I'm sorry, but I had to have a shower because I was outside all day, and it was really gross. It was like 40 degrees after Humidex. That's Celsius. I don't do the Fahrenheit, and it was really muggy. You could cut it with a knife. It was super bad. It's the sun. It takes it out of me. It's one of the weaknesses of the ginge. The ginge weakness, if you will. Um, super awesome. Everybody loves you. You're just epic and whatnot. But the sun hates you in your face. And that's the worst. Which is really frustrating when you're someone like me. Because I want to be able to walk around outside for more than five minutes without getting a sunburn and not wearing sunscreen, which I have to do all the time. So, this lightly toasted Robin comes to you after I was outside 12 hours today, and I reapplied sunscreen eight times. Which probably was overkill, but I don't care because I still got lightly sunburned, so ah! <laughs> and... I actually ran out of sunscreen because I used it so much and that's relevant to the rest of the story so remember it so I had run out of sunscreen and it kept getting hotter and hotter and did I mention it kept getting hotter it was super bad so I unbuttoned a couple sh buttons on my shirt I was like it's fine my tie is there it will protect me and then some time passes and it gets hotter and some more hotter and I loosen my tie forgetting that I have not reapplied sunscreen to the area underneath my tie. So I ended up with this, which is the world's most ridiculous sunburn that I've gotten this week. And it's awesome. I feel, when I do this, I feel like Superman, but if you had a really unimpressive symbol, because it's just a little right here. It looks like I'm wearing a tie made of sunburn. And it's really uncomfortable. It's one of the downsides of being ginge. That and not having a soul. No way, not having a soul is awesome. Just the sunburn thing. Um, it sucks though. I'm really upset because I try so hard not to get sunburned because, I mean, besides the whole skin cancer thing, which is not something I want to play with, uh, it also makes freckles more freckly, and I don't like that because I like being pale. And as anyone who has freckles can tell you, it's terrible. As everyone who doesn't have freckles and believes that they are adorable, they are on other people, not on me. Me, not so much. Don't love it. Gonna aloe vera the face off of this. But, speaking of Superman, spin, I got Man of Steel. No, watched Man of Steel. It was awesome. I saw it in IMAX 3D and it was boss. I don't know what these people are talking about who are all like, it was such a bad movie. You don't know stuff about blah. I don't know. I don't know what they're saying because they're wrong. It, it's, it's the end of it. I quite like Superman. I mean, he's no Batman, but he'll do. You know, and I own all the Superman movies. I don't know if you can see that, because I can't see the frame, but I'm imagining you can see it. Superman movies there, bam, and including Superman 2 twice, because Richard Donner, big fan, loves the Superman movies. And I know that a lot of people have been saying that Man of Steel is bad because it's not a traditional Superman movie, and that's fine, I guess. I mean, they're not wrong, it's not a traditional Superman movie, but it's good because it's not a traditional Superman movie, because the last traditional Superman movie they did was Superman Returns, which was awful in its face, and you know it, and I know it. And Brian Singer knows it, poor guy, and Brendan Ruff probably knows it, and I mean, they're good actors and directors, and I mean, you know, X-Men and whatnot, so it's not, it was just a, a, a fluke, but um, my point is, is that doing traditional Superman movies doesn't always work, and I think the world has kind of moved on from them. We love the original ones, but we love them nostalgically, we don't want more. So I thought it was really great what they did with with Man of Steel, which was make it an alien invasion movie with the twist of cape. That was brilliant. And it was really interesting the way that they portrayed Superman, because they were very clear that he was an alien. They said the word alien repeatedly, whipped it around. They, the alien that they are referring to as Superman, they say that. At the, like, it's great. 
But at the same time, he's a much more human character. He shows emotions that are more than, you know, warm smugness and quiet concern. You know, like he gets mad, proper mad, and he gets scared, and he gets hurt, and he really shows all of these, and he shows, for me at least, really well what it would be like to be a person like that who has these incredible abilities and having to bite back that impulse to snap out at people, lash out at people, lash out at people who have wronged you. That was really great. That was a great portrayal. And Zod, no Terrence Stamp, but was fantastic. And actually his characterization was really, really good too. I mean, I love Terrence Stamp, but no one will ever be Terrence Stamp other than, I suppose, Terrence Stamp. But his Zod was evil for the sake of being evil. He was megalomaniacal and just wanted it all. Like he was listening to Queen. Whereas this Zod makes sense. He has motivations besides evil. And that's great. It was a really good story. Was it the usual Superman story? No. It was good though. And I think people are just writing it off because it's not the same. But I think the thing what everyone's forgetting is that the same got us nowhere. So doing something new is great. Go them. Well done, Zack Snyder. The snap zooms were kinda tacky, but so is slow motion. You have to have one tacky thing that you do in every movie. I respect that. It is fine. I can overlook it. I can do that. I have that ability. You do too, viewers of the world. Do it. See Man of Steel? It was great. If you like Superman. If you don't, see it anyway, because I said so. Uh, I also saw World War Z. It was good. Um, I think it helps that I didn't read the book, though. And the ending was kind of a non-ending. But Brad Pitt was good. Um, and it had a cool vibe. and had some really great moments. And I laughed at all the inappropriate parts. And it was good. And, yeah. So I think that's pretty much it for this week. Sorry for doing this all in one run again. I, it's lazy of me and damp of me. But, you know, times is hard. So, yeah. Next week is Question Friday. Please submit your questions to my Friday. I will actually do it and I will film it and I will make a vlog of it. And then the week after that, we'll hopefully have some footage of Pride slash Canada Day slash patriotism. And hopefully I will have something to show you guys about the show that I've been working on, having a heck of a time getting permission for that. Wow. So, yeah. Other than that, if you do have questions, please either comment in the comment section or Tumblr, at my Tumblr. It, I will link it. And it's like this, but pictures. So also, follow me on that if you want. Feel it out. And Twitter, it's like this, but short phrases, and mostly it's me whining about being outside all week, because our forecast is either sunny or thunderstorms, and I don't want to be standing aside for work for either of those, frankly. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, because such is life, you know. We go on. So, yeah, Twitter. Uh, also, you can question me at it, is where I was going with that. The subway is that way. You can question me at it, but I may not respond because I haven't been on the subway in a while because I get rides to work. <laughs> and yeah, other than that, have a really great week. I will see you guys next week and cannot wait.